Right, I'm sure we'll come across it. But my blade is blunt. What I'm going to do is give it a sharpen. Normally I'll take it to the saw doctor. Now for this I just use for basically ripping pine. It's not too critical, so I sharpen it myself. So the machine I'm going to use, oh, there is, it's my Berlin tungsten carbide saw blade sharpener. Simple little device, basically it slides back and forth on, on two rails or handle. So what we do is we put the blade on top of here, the curl wash thing will go on top of that, yeah? And that will centralise the blade, you put your spring goes on top of there, and then your washer goes on top of there, and then you put your, your nut on there and then tighten that down, and effectively what you put those through they loose, so you tighten it, tighten it, tighten it until you're satisfied that it's secure enough. It does move because also on spring, so it all moves. I have it set up at the moment for doing just 10 inch blades because basically that in most cases that's the size blade that I use or the ones that I sharpen anyway. And we have this slide backwards and forwards with this little lever for every cut or every grind that you make. So I just run that across out so is it far enough in? In this case yes it is. Then bring it back then come to the next tooth and grind that one. And you do that on the each, each tooth all the way around. So we make sure everything's out of the way, that's clear. Um, and all of there, you can see the blade spring, you can see that clear. It's not loud and noisy, it's not particularly dangerous really. Um, you just, you know, obviously if you, you stuck your head and let it fell asleep, but well then obviously you're going to end up with a bit of a mess when you wake up. So don't do that. So, I don't remember where these. What I'm going to do is, if I ever do, put it on. I use these as a good indication of how far we've got round. Yeah, so I bring it in and then I'll bring the blade to it. So next one. So I'll inspect that tooth and have a look to see what the effect of that is. And uh, I don't know if you can see that there, you probably can't. But yeah, I haven't actually made good contact over the whole tooth. The actual the currently, I do not have this set at the right angle because what's happening is it's grinding the back here yeah, and cutting the you know and sharp and grinding the back, but not the actual tooth part. So I'd have to take so much material off to actually um, sharpen that tooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset this up, just make sure I've got reasonable content. To do that, you have to loosen this nut here. And you effectively just move it until you feel that you've got it in the correct position. In this case, I've got to move it in a little bit so I can then bring that out a little bit. You can't really see that properly there, but what we have is I, I, on the back here we have more contact all the way along the tooth. So I'm going to try and regrind that, redo that tooth again. Like definitely better. You can adjust it so you don't grind too far into the blade each time. You didn't grind so far. You can pull the grinder back, we spin around to the next tooth, and then we do the same again. If you feel that you need to go around and do another grind, Right, you can go round again. What you don't want to do is to make it too hot. So. so basically, you've got to do that all the way around the blade. It's as simple as that. It's not much more to show, really. You know, um, You can see it's, it's considerably better than it was. This is a telltale sign um, if it's actually cutting. As you see here, there's no burning 
on the timber. So I'd say that's successful. So I'm happy with that. For the purpose of ripping, it certainly will save some money. So we only just started making these videos and um, we're learning, so any comments that would be really appreciated. Thank you. So, if you found it of use, please click like and subscribe. If it would be most grateful, we will. We'll be most grateful.